Welcome to Cisco Lab. We're at Fun Networking with Fish. We're going to go ahead and continue our iWAN app plane in the lab. We already have had one YouTube where we brought the VM up, the virtual machine of APIC EM version 1.01, .01, which just came out onto Cisco.com last month. The next one was we provisioned the data center, data center one there, that was the other YouTube. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and actually do plug and play bootstrap, a zero touch deployment on branch two, and also provision it as an IWAN branch with the IWAN app. So basically what I'm saying is we're gonna forget everybody else, focus in on branch two, and do uh, zero touch deployment, plug and play bootstrap, and also provisioning of it. What we're going to see is that right now it's actually powered off. I had done a write erase reload. It is already running the version of code that I have wanted. So it is already running the code that I want. It is also already connected into the um, MPLS private uh, connection as well as the ISP public connection. And it does have a physical connection behind it into the switch. So again, before we begin, in summary, what we're going to do during this YouTube is we're going to go ahead and go to branch two router. It's a 4351. It's running 3161AS code. It's going to start with no configs and it's going to be powered off. We're going to go to the IWAN app and go to the branch section, get the plug and play bootstrap config, put the plug and play zero touch deployment bootstrap config on a USB stick insert the USB stick into the branch 2 router, power up the branch 2 router, the branch 2 router will get a DHCP address from an ISP, the branch 2 router will go to its plug and play agent, the APIC EM IWAN app, the IWAN app will recognize this as a newly provisioned device, in IWAN app we'll select the device and provision it and you are done. And branch 2 is set and ready to start giving out uh, DHCP IP addresses to the LAN interfaces um, and it is ready to go ahead and send traffic over both the private and the public and according to the software defined WAN policy, the one policy to rule them all, of what you want to do with your applications in your environment. So we're going to go ahead and go back into our APIC EM. So if we were home before, it's version 1.0130. Go into the IWAM, and we will see that we have our hub site configured. This is where we left off last time. So we have one hub site configured, and we have nobody set up from a branch perspective. So if we go ahead and we go to a branch con con uh, perspective here, we have zero newly discovered sites. We have one site that's provisioned. Well, what is that site that's provisioned? Well, let's click on this. Ah, right, that's the hub site. So we're gonna go ahead and ignore that. Look at this, we have no sites, uh, newly discovered sites. This is the bootstrap. There are three bootstrap um, available for download. So if we go over ahead and go over here, there's a T1 private, an ethernet public, and another ethernet public. So we're gonna go ahead and download this one. What we will see then is this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to uh, keep it anyway? I'm going to go ahead and say keep. So there's our Cisco router config. Now let's just go ahead and uh, go over to downloads. And open with WordPad. So if we actually look at WordPad with what we have here, we have a interface gigabit 001 IP address DHCP no shut. So number one, first and foremost, this will actually have gigabit 001, but I have the ISP connection connected into 002. And uh, technically, at least from what happened with me, I did not actually have to put this in here, but we'll go ahead and do it. It's 002. IP address DHCP, no shut. Now this is going to be PNP profile and it's going to be uh, IWAN PNP profile 
And what we're going to go ahead and do in here is we're going to put in here, this is going to be transport HTTP IPv4. And this is going to be the controller proxy IP address, controller or the uh, proxy IP address. And for us, this is actually going to be, as we saw, 10.101.30.11, port 80. So this is transport HTTP IP v4 and then the IP address of the APIC EM where we have the IWAN app running. Now from my perspective, I'm not even going to go ahead and do any of this now. I'm just in a lab environment and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of this. And then we'll go ahead and do a save. So I've actually already moved this over onto a memory stick on my laptop. So there we go, interface gigabit 002, IP address DHCP, no shut. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to eject this. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and go into the lab, take this USB stick and put it into branch 2 router 1 and then power it on. Let's go ahead and go over to the iWAN app. So, okay, we have one provisioned, one newly discovered device. So let's go ahead and go to newly discovered. Shover, include FLM. Yep, there we go. Right there. And then also the IP address 165.2.11. So perfect. Let's go ahead and go back to the IWAN app. And we want to set up the branch sites. So let's go ahead and call this, let's call this branch two and do a save here. And now let's go ahead and select it. And let's go ahead and let's see if there's anything else we have to do and just say provision site. So let's collapse this. So let's see what it's saying here. It's actually saying, so select the topology, what are we gonna be? We're actually going to be one router with two WAN clouds. So that's good. So one router with two WAN clouds. And we're gonna edit the name of the site. So we already said branch two, site location. We'll say that it's the uh, Cayman Islands. How's that? So Cayman Islands. And uh, preferred pop is the hub. We only have one hub right now. Please select the site location value to autocomplete. Let's see. So I want to go ahead and anything that has a little ticky mark here, we're going to go ahead and say select the WAN type to configure the WAN cloud. So what is this? Select WAN right here. So let's go ahead and say this is going to be the INET. So we have INET here, let's go ahead and configure it. Now we know that our public WAN interface, since we were just playing with it, is actually 002 INET. Our upload speed, let's say that our upload speed is, I don't know, what do you want to give it? Let's give it uh, uh, 10 meg. And what is our download speed? Okay, our download speed is, let's say we actually get 50 meg. So our upload is 10 and our download is 50. So we're going to go ahead and say save. And so again, recall that once it gets a little checky mark there, you're good. So this is going to be the private one. So we know that we have 0001. So let's go ahead and actually go over here and see what we actually have here. 
So this is that branch two, router one is supposed to be 12, two, one dot two. And this one's supposed to be over here. Oh, look at that, I messed up, didn't I? <laughs> okay, let's go cheat. So this says 12 to one dot two, and this says 12 to two dot two. So let's go cheat and look at my MPLS. Because I'm feeling lazy. So let's do a show hosts. And let's go into my pseudo supposed MPLS world, which is IWAN 2 dash MPLS. And do a show, whoops, a daisy. Show CDP neighbor. Because it's actually already up right there. So it's 1, 2. So show run interface gigabit 1, 12. I'm sorry, 112. And it's 12, 2, 2, 2. So that's supposed to actually be, so 12, 2, 2, 2, 2. So that means that this is slightly wrong. This should be 12, 2, 2, 2. And this should be 12, 2, 2, and then 1 over here. So we'll go ahead and do that and make this CE address. It's going to be 12.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. And the mask is 255.255.255.0. And our PE, our provider edge, is 12.2.2.1. And we'll go ahead and just continue on because we're just having fun right now. And so this is this, this is this. So what, what do we want our LAN to be? So there's data, there's this, internal DHCP, so all for all these different things. Now for us, we're gonna go ahead and say, okay, we just, we have no, we have no wireless. Let's just go ahead and cancel the wireless. So let's cancel the wireless. Voice and video, we're gonna go ahead and cancel the voice and video for right now. We're also gonna cancel the, the guest because I'm just a little lab rat and we're gonna go ahead and just come in. Now, here's the question. What's gonna happen here? What's gonna happen here is if you recall from the previous one, we're actually going to randomly come up with IP addresses, but we're gonna enable DHCP. This is not what you have to do. If I knew what the serial number is, you could go ahead and actually have it all set up with the IP addresses that you want. So check, 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 and apply changes. So this is the serial number, this is the device, Ethernet, Gigabit 001, MPLS, uh, the um, INET, the DHCP is not configured network-wide, so I don't have that as configured there. So the VLAN, it's gonna be VLAN 64, total number of IP, of IP is 120. And we'll just go ahead and apply now, so submit. Are you sure you wanna apply the changes? Yes, I am sure I would like to apply the changes. So if we go back out and you see the little guy moving around, it's going up and up and up. I'm actually doing this. It is in progress. Okay, so it's provisioned. So let's go ahead and go back over to here. So we have two provisions. So let's go to two provisioned. So we have two provisioned, uh, none in progress, no failed, two provisioned. And so we have the uh, branch two. It's completely successful. So let's go ahead and actually go and look what that looks like. So let's go to IWAN2. Go to IWAN2 dash branch 2 dash R1. And oh, I forgot to give it a name. Host name IWAN2 dash branch 2 dash R1. Okay, so if we do a show run section domain, we'll actually see that the IWAN app has gone ahead and done everything for us. It's configured the loopbacks we've needed. It's configured the intelligent path control. It also has actually already configured the DMVPN. So let's go ahead and do a show DMVPN. So we have two tunnels. Why do we have two tunnels? Because if we've already looked over here, we have this tunnel, which is the MPLS DMVPN tunnel. And then we also have the internet tunnel. Now the MPLS tunnel actually terminates up here on this ASR 1002X, which is 12.101.101.2. That's this IP address up here. 
and then the internet DMVPN tunnel, which apparently got tunnel 11 as the nomenclature, will terminate up here on this ASR 1002X at 164.1.2. So let's go ahead and go back. Yep. So this is actually the MPLS, and it terminates on 12.101.101.2, and this is the one that terminates on the ISP one. Now, where do these 1099s came from? Come from? If you recall correctly, this is what I called the generic pool when I actually brought this up. So the loopback interfaces and the DMVPN, things that I just need to go ahead and get my network up and running, are going to go ahead and pull from that. So this is the IP address for the whole just generic stuff that I don't really care about. Now let's just go ahead and also do a show IP EIGRP neighbor. All of this was done through the IWAN app within the APIC EM. The tunnels, the EIGRP, the intelligent path control. So let's look at that intelligent path control again. So show run section domain. So this is it right here. And let me show you something else, which is pretty cool. Let's do a show domain one. That's what this one right here is. And then master. And then we're going to go ahead and do master status. So if we do a master status, we will notice that we are already up and running with our, this is, we're up, we're operational, okay? Uh, everything has been met. We have two tunnel interfaces. We are our own border. Tunnel 10 is our MPLS one. It is up. And tunnel 11 is our INET one, and it is up. Okay, so let's recap what we did. We took br branch two, to 4351. It was powered off. I had done a write erase re reload of the configs. We went ahead and we went to the APIC EMI went app to get the plug and play bootstrap configs, put the plug and play bootstrap zero touch deployment configs on a USB stick. We walked into the CPOC lab together, put the USB stick into my branch two router, powered up the branch two router. The branch two router got its DHCP address from the ISP. It then went ahead and went to its PMP agent, uh, which is the APIC EM IWAN app. The IWAN app recognized branch two as a newly discovered device. We clicked it, we selected that the device, and we selected we wanted to provision it as a uh, single router uh, branch with an MPLS link and an internet link. And then that's it, provision done. DMVPN came up, everything came up that we needed to go ahead and have branch two, router one, start sending traffic and talking to its uh, domain master controller and follow the instructions for the intelligent path control, make intelligent decisions at the WAN edge with the one policy to rule them all. And that's it. Hope you had another great day with uh, Cisco Lab Rat Fun, networking with fish. And I'm out.